Now, calling any Call of Duty game underrated doesn't really make sense. I mean, every game in the series makes bucket loads of cash and usually receive decent review scores. Saying that, there is one Call of Duty game that I feel used to be underrated, but as time has gone on, more and more people are realising just how good it was. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 20 insane hidden details from the best World War II Call of Duty ever made, Call of Duty World at War. As always, if you're going to enjoy this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. And of course, a big thank you to my Patreon backers and YouTube channel members for their awesome support. Check the links in the description to learn more. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, so let's try and cover these details in the order that they appear in the game, with the first mission of interest being Little Resistance. Now, the first detail from this level is actually historically accurate, which in my opinion makes it even cooler. After storming the beach, enemies will resort to unique tactics to take you down. Sullivan! The tree! What the hell is he doing? Take him down! What do we do? So enemy snipers will sit on top of trees, which is cool enough. But just like real life Japanese snipers, the snipers in World at War actually tie themselves to the trees. It's really cool. The next little resistance detail can be seen when attempting to flank an enemy bunker. After clearing out the Japanese infantry, you can find this guy. Oh! So this soldier has obviously seen better days, but despite being on the brink of death, he is still reaching for his pistol so that he can take one last shot at you. If you ignore him, he will take it personally, finally reaching the pistol and firing in your direction. I must have played this level a hundred times and never noticed this soldier before now. The final detail from Little Resistance can be seen at the very end of the mission. As the squad reunites in the bunker, this will happen. Where should we rest? Shoot, Pulaski. Shoot. Ah! 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 Sullivan, no, hold on, you're gonna be okay. Corbett! So as soon as Sullivan is stabbed by the Japanese soldier, Roebuck's rank will change from corporal to sergeant, as now that Sullivan is dead, Roebuck is the next in command. Oh, and despite not being a detail, I do have to mention the ray gun easter egg. This was one of the first easter eggs I ever saw and I was certain that it was fake, but it's not. Simply step in three puddles on the beach and statues will appear, with one of them holding the ray gun which can now be used for the rest of the level. The next mission of interest is Vendetta, which might just have the most examples of attention to detail in any Call of Duty mission ever. Now, the first detail from Vendetta is kind of similar to the detail we just covered. At the beginning of the mission, Reznov is labelled as a sniper. However, due to his injuries, Reznov is forced to pick up a submachine gun, at which point he will now be labelled as a submachine gunner. It's such a small change that I'm hoping a lot of players wouldn't have noticed it. Now, did you know that Reznov will react differently depending on how you defeat the enemies with the sniper rifle? For example, if you're slow in taking down the enemies, he will say this. Right ahead! Watch out! The dog! The reactions could be quicker, but the job is done. And if you kill all of the enemies quickly without missing a shot, he will say this. Excellent aim. You are a natural hunter. Of course, this isn't the only time that Reznov makes a comment on your sniping abilities. If you no scope an enemy, Reznov will say this. Now, if I'm honest, I'm not entirely sure if this next detail is actually a detail. Let me explain. At the beginning of Vendetta, your character wakes up in a fountain full of dead Soviet troops. 
The thing is, one of them might not actually be dead. But you will do it for me. Take my rifle and watch the road. Mumodak in the car is General Heinrich Kamsel, architect of Stalingrad's misery. Now, it's hard to know if this is a glitch, I mean the way the soldier moves is hardly smooth, or if it's a Soviet soldier playing dead. Let me know what you think in the comments. Another debatable detail found in the fountain is this blood splatter. Now, what do you think that this blood splatter looks like? Well, I and many others think that this blood splatter looks like the Grim Reaper. Here is the Reaper's scythe, and this is his hooded head. Now, I know this one may seem like a bit of a reach, so again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. The final vendetta detail can be seen on any mission where you can kill Reznov. Yes, you heard that right. The message that appears on screen when killing a US ally reads, friendly fire will not be tolerated. It's the standard Call of Duty betrayal message. Well, if you betray a Soviet ally, the message will instead read, you are a traitor to the motherland. It's a subtle, but really cool detail. Up next is the eviction mission, which gives you a choice on how to deal with surrendering soldiers, something that I wish more Call of Duty games did. Before heading into the metro, you need to decide what to do with a group of surrendering enemies. If you shoot them, Reznov will say this. Turn up, you should learn from Dimitri. He understands the nature of mercy. However, if you either let them live or use a Molotov to kill them, he will say this instead. Dimitri, it is your choice. You should have shot them, Jim. It's only cruel to belong in animal suffering. Like I said, I wish that more Call of Duty games offered players these sort of choices. Anyway, after choosing to kill or spare the surrendering enemies, you must now battle your way through the German metro system. Well, it's when doing battle that this will happen. So in what has to be one of my favourite moments in the entire World at War campaign, rats can be seen running away from something. But it's not immediately clear what that something is. It's only when looking up do you see the wall of water rushing towards you. Like I said, seeing the rats running for their lives because they know what's coming is awesome. Next up is the Black Cat's mission with a small but cool detail. After destroying the enemy ships, you can see this. Oh yeah, they're going down. Good work, Rock. You saved a lot of lives on Okinawa. So oil will leak from the now destroyed ships, creating this really cool visual. Like I said, it's not the most mind-blowing detail that you'll ever see, but it is something that a lot of people may have missed. Right, the final campaign-related detail for today's video can be seen in the Breaking Point mission. Now, to join an army in the middle of World War II, there are a few basic things that you must be able to do. You must be able to walk, must be able to hold a gun, and most importantly, you must be able to see. That's why during the course of World at War's campaign, you don't see any allies or enemies wearing glasses. Well, that is until the war nears its end. So several Japanese soldiers can be seen wearing glasses. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but it's actually a telling sign that the Japanese army was struggling for new recruits. You see, towards the end of World War II, Japan were in desperate need of new soldiers. So desperate, in fact, that they relaxed their conscription standards to allow people with poor eyesight the chance to fight. I highly recommend watching this video, as it goes into more detail about just how desperate the Nazi and Japanese armies became in their pursuit of soldiers. Right, so just a couple more details left to cover, with the first being found on the Verrucht Zombies map. This sign, that is of course written in German, reads, All unattended children will be immediately sold to the circus. The final detail is perhaps the most visually pleasing. If you fire one shot of the shotgun and then reload, your character will place one thumb over the unspent shell to prevent it falling out.
So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you think I've missed anything, then please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.